Welcome to the Unknown Angler. It's winter here in upstate New York. Yep, that's snow. And we're going to be swinging flies for trout today. This is not going to be fishing uh, the tribs. We're going to be fishing a small freestone stream. Since it's not trout season in New York, uh, you need to make sure you check the regs before you go out and fish any stream near you. Make sure you're fishing legally. We're going to be using an Echo two-handed three-weight switch rod, an old hardy Zenith click reel. The line's going to be a wolf triangle taper. It's going to be five weight to match the rod with a Rio Versa leader, seven foot, four inches per second sink rate, and a 10 foot 4X leader. Top that off with a Prince Nymph leech. Okay, finally getting to the good stuff. Here's the fishing. First of all, the best part about uh, two-handed spade casting is the fact that uh, you can cover a lot of water in a very short amount of time. Uh, a lot of the casts you'll see me making here are at least 60 feet. Um, some of them go 70 to 80 feet. Uh, very easy to do with this rig. Uh, yeah, surprisingly easy. But don't kid yourself. It, it does take a little bit of practice. Um, spay fishing is not the easiest form of fly fishing and it's certainly not the easiest way to catch fish but it's one of the most fun ways to catch fish and you see I just cast right into that tree over there and got it to drop off the tree and picked up a fish once again this isn't a trip it's nothing huge But what would a fishing video be without at least catching one fish? Anyway, I figured I'd change angles a little bit here and uh, show you how the casting is done with a two-handed uh, two-handed switch rod. Now, I'm not the best caster in the world. Uh, I practice a lot try to do the best I can, try to demonstrate. Um, but that cast right there was probably 60 feet um, easily. And I know that because it's a 22 foot head on that line. Uh, there's a seven foot Versa leader and there's a, another 10 foot um, leader on top of that, 3X leader. And I'm throwing another 30 feet of line behind it. Uh, so. It's a good 60 foot cast. Not hard to do. And then it's all downstream, quartering downstream. Let it swing. By the way, for you, those of you that don't know, um, that's a snap tee that I'm doing in order to set up an anchor and throw the line. Uh, actually, not throw the line, I'm building a D loop first and then I'm coming off of that anchor with the D-loop uh, to put a bend in the rod. Now, this is interesting too. I've made the cast and I tried to get over these obstructions to get downstream a little bit. The reason you're seeing all of this is because lo and behold, once I get down to the end, I bring in a little piece of line and bang, there's a fish. Yeah, a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. This one's a little bit better. Once again, not huge, but these are these are resonant browns. They're not stock fish. Uh, this is a no-kill section of uh, the creek I'm on, and they don't stock this section. Uh, I'm not taking you out and showing you how to catch a whole bunch of stock fish. Uh, this section is it's relatively tough to fish. In. These are good, clean fish. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.